Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments and today I'm looking at the Thermoscientific Model 43IQ series SO2 analyzer. This is the next generation after the Model 43i and this unit has a centered touch screen and right below it has a USB port so now you can get the data simply by putting a uh, thumb drive in here and doing the USB download instead of having to have a laptop connected to it, which you can still do. But much quicker now, you just simply pop in a USB drive and download your data to a spreadsheet. Coming around the side of the analyzer, bit of a change up on the reaction cell. They've centered it, which is great, so now you can get access. What used to be up, up tight to the side of this uh, panel here, but now they've centered the uh, reaction cell. And a few things you'll notice differently if you're familiar with the 43i is that the, there was an interface board mounted right here that is completely gone and they've redesigned the electronics for the board mounted to the side of the reaction chamber assembly. The uh, flash lamp is on the front end, used to be on the back end of the instrument in this corner, the previous instrument, but now easy accessibility on the front end with the lamp just inside of here. Similar mirror assembly. With the four mirrors, three on the three other one on the uh, side and top, and uh, one on the bottom. PMT assembly is still on the top of the uh, reaction cell housing. PMT socket. The solenoid valve assembly has changed a bit. Uh, there used to be those biochem valves that used to be mounted down on this panel. Off on this side, now they've got the zero span and sample solenoids. If you have that option, mounted to this heavy duty block here as well. You can still get the permeation of an option. Uh, this one doesn't have it, but you can see the four holes right here for that option of the permeation tube uh, daily spans. Coming around the back of the instrument, you've got the sample port, spanning zero in, and the exhaust port, and plenty of extra blank ports for other options as well. So the way Thermal has done this, they have options for fans. If this was a NOx analyzer, there'd be a fan here and another one here as well. So it's very, very modular, easy for them to manufacture. So this is the SO2 cooling fan on the bottom right panel here. Looking at the back electronics, this analyzer was purchased without the uh, RS-232, the analog outputs and the digital inputs as well. So you have the option now of not buying these, which helps you reduce the cost. They come standard with Ethernet port. And again, we have extra USB ports on the back panel as well. You have two. So the Ethernet Modbus, which a lot of people are now choosing how to get the data off of these instruments, and instead of going with the conventional analog RS-232 as well. And the digital control is all done by Modbus as well down here. Power cord assembly is still the same with the fuse holder at the bottom. Coming around the other side, again, if you're familiar with the 43i, you'll see quite a difference here. Uh, looking down inside, you can see that none of the options are in here for the digital input control, status alarm relay outputs, the analog outputs, or the RS-232. So you can see the three sockets where all those boards would go. So it can be purchased without any of that and to help you reduce cost. The motherboard assembly has been redone, so now we have a different CPU port here as well, assembly. And the power supply is a bit different as well from the i-series. So, lots of changes on the electronics. And back around to the front. And the one last thing you can do to get at the display, if you have to service the, dis the uh, display, you can simply pull the front panel off of this analyzer for easy access to the uh, display if you need to service it as well. So that's the 43IQ SO2 analyzer. If you have any questions, just post the comments and I'll try to respond. Thank you.